Lähe. Oh Lord. Happy Father's Day, y'all. I'm talking all that shit. Nah, I ain't no color people time. It was just uh nah, I ain't gonna tell you. It's color people time. The truth is worse than uh <laughs> color, color people. How y'all doing this morning, this afternoon, this afternoon? Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. I think I'm going to start off every show by talking about the uh, Go Along, Get Along Gang crew, uh, since they like to talk about every, everybody else. Uh, Stephen A. Grinch, why was you at them colleges, boy? We want to know. Also, we want to know, why the hell was you at them high schools, boy? Is it cool when I take a puff between everyone? <laughs> hey, also, uh, CB4, why the hell your teeth so big? Mm. Should have never been out there playing tough. Hey, bust your teeth out your mouth, boy. And Becky with the good hair. Boy, why is your hair so slick? You fang away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're going to start off talking about y'all. And Rob Parker, we ain't get that date yet, boy. Oh, it's after two minutes now. Hey, Rob Parker, did you get the the uh did you go to Dr. Miami yet, boy? You need to get your ass. You need a new face. You know, we don't care nothing about your body because you got a good wallet. But till then now, we want you to be walking down South Beach with your wallet taped to your fucking face. Get you a big long, big ass, one of them bill folds and open the bitch up and tape it across your face. The only thing you could do is cut out, cut a little patch out for your eye, bitch. Motherfucker, and goddamn it, uh, what's that little uh, that little glow stick? You little glow stick, motherfucker. You the first person, Chris Bouchard. We're gonna allow you to wear blackface. You little glow stick, motherfucker. You sit up there and talk with such confidence, like you could just talk about people. Fuck all. How many of them motherfuckers I just named? <laughs> fuck all to go along, get along, gang. How about that? And lesser charge. Why the fuck is you still up there? Why are I heart like you so goddamn much, boy? You must have an apple in your mouth at them parties. And oh yeah, I talked to Miss Jessica Reed today. Yeah, this morning I had a conversation with her. And yeah, we, we was uh, gonna go live, but you know, she wanna wait. She wanna get her thoughts together. Um, I think she went on the lead attorney, you know, because some things were said and she got in her emotions. But lead attorney, you need to pay attention to the people you letting on your show. You letting people come on your show and talk all nice and smart. And these people are talk saying they're going to burn up people's children. Allegedly, these people are saying they're going to knock somebody out with a brick. Allegedly, this man is calling dead women bitches. And that ain't no alleged. So lead attorney, you need to be careful who you align yourself with, sir. But in speaking to Miss uh, Jessica Reed, she has a powerful story that I think young girls need to hear. And you guys need to focus less attention on who to why and who doing what and why they doing it and any motives, because the more this story gets out, the more y'all can focus y'all attention on why is this lesser charge some bitch on there sniffing women's chairs, throwing bunkies and being a sexual deviant right in front of our very eyes. And that's OK with each and every last one of us. Well, God damn it. My son used to watch The Breakfast Club and I don't appreciate that shit. And yeah, it started off as personal. But now that we done got a little personal because, you know, once you dig into somebody's family and, and make it personal, 
And bitch, I get a little personal too. And now I know the real you. I don't like you. I don't like nobody like you. And this don't got nothing to do with Miss Jessica Reed no more. It's about what you did, punk. And I hope that woman tell her story to stop sickos like you. In my opinion, sickos like you need to be in a corner somewhere. Because I don't want to go against YouTube guidelines to tell you what I really think. But you got a lot of people that like you, boy. You got a lot of people that like a little patch-eyed dingin. Well, you done cleaned your face up. I did with my damn cup, cool. Uh, it's in my bathroom. Can you grab it out of the bathroom for me? My uh, purple cup. Yeah, this old patch eye goddamn demon done bleached his face and now he think he good. But uh, you, I can't wait for Miss Jessica Reed to come up here because I'm not going to over talk her. I have nobody on the panel like uh, Mr. Lead Attorney did. I'm going to let this young lady tell her story so each and every last victim can have the courage that went through the similar situation or the same situation or worse as her can have a platform that they can talk and not be victim shamed. You know, there are women out there that may lie and falsify situations, but this young lady speaking to her, that's not what she's doing. That is definitely not in my opinion, what she's doing. And the fact that we have to beg and plead to get a, a person that's, on record since he want to talk about public records he's on public records pleading to a lesser charge thank you sir you want to hit this huh you're sick you are sick fuck boy And I'm going to keep that pressure on all y'all sick fucks. I believe a lot of you media personalities were bullied in high school. I believe a lot of you were jock rejects and you were wannabes and you're jealous punk motherfuckers. So you created this lane of personalities and you're attacking black athletes because guess what? Somebody said it in the chat. Uh, I've never heard of a bus golfer. Have you ever heard of a bus golfer? You know, that's a predominantly white sport, huh? Mm -hmm. Not too many bus baseball players, huh? None of them either. That's a predominantly white sport. Mm -hmm. Okay, the predominantly black sport, they label all of these athletes into something. Look at the way y'all talked about all these different quarterbacks. What's the quarterback for uh, the Oakland Raiders? Uh, Demarcus Russell. What's what the name is? What's the, what's the quarterback for the Oakland Raiders? Somebody put it in the chat that 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 fucking demon Stephen A. Smith smoke spoke about. Said he should never be considered for another job. Yeah. Jamarcus Russell. Man, the way he talked about the, the way he talked about that man. No team in America could sign a quarterback like that after this man is saying all that on 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 fucking national TV. Damn near. Everybody's watching this in every barbershop. Wherever this man go and get his hair cut, his little boys, when he go in and try to teach another black boy how to throw the football, uh, he, why would they listen to him? Look at the way Stephen A. spoke about him. He's now not only shunned out of the football arena in, in the NFL, he can't even go back home and be respected because little kids can go pick on him because they Stephen A. pick on him. Why can't I? But no, what they say ain't personal. What they say ain't personal. You know, this man could take his likeness and go get a Cadillac deal, a Mercury deal, where he go speak up. He went, he went to a nice college. He has connections and network that if he can stand up erect like a man and not make a, a whole game become his life, if he can stand up like a man off the field, then maybe he can do business like a man. But when you tarnish a man's reputation like this little babbling fool does that ain't never did nothing real in his own life, when you tarnish someone's reputation off of that field of play, how can they do business, sir?
That's why we coming after you next, Weasel. You the worst. You and Charlemagne, y'all are two worst things to the black community, in my opinion, because all y'all do is preach disrespect. We need men on TV, men that lead with respect and that teach young boys. It ain't all about that showboat shit. And it, it better serves you to apologize to a man before you disrespect him because you don't have to take it there when somebody apologize and know it don't make you soft. It make you a man. But Charlemagne want to bring people on the show, disrespect them because his camera's there and you protect it like a little punk. And you always say you're going to sue somebody. So you'll talk with that effeminate tongue. But I wish you would have slipped when them niggas wanted that drop. <laughs> boy, when them brothers wanted that drop on you in New York, boy, God damn why he couldn't connect a little bit harder. And then you just fall down a little bit. And then they could jump up and down on your ass with a group like a trampoline. What I'd have been a you'd have been a you'd have been a diving board, a springboard for them boys. If you would have slipped, boy, look at here, they jumped up and down on your ass like a trampoline, boy. That would have been a good old country fashion ass whipping. I hope you know how to tuck your elbows close to your ears and your eyes, boy. Cause if you don't, you're going to be fucked up. Pull your knees up to your ribs and try to protect and tuck. You got to ball up like a little snail, boy. <laughs> when you rat pack, you got to get low and ball up, boy. <laughs> they would have got on your ass. Why he couldn't slip? God damn. Wish them niggas would have threw a rock at you first or something. <laughs> Knock him down. They got to learn that little clip. When he was running out, they, they pulled the clip his goddamn leg. Punk, punk, patch eyed bitch. But look here. And, and, and furthermore, we're going to ride out on you, uh, punk. Check this out. Uh, shout out to Self Talk. Because uh, I hope y'all can see this. Um, I want to play this uh, video of this patch eyed demon sniffing these women chairs. And uh, self-talk, you my boy, so I know you ain't gonna care that I play your video. Don't strike me, dog. But uh, I love the way this guy edit videos. And uh, shout out to you, my brother. Let me see if I can do this. Cause uh, play it from right here. You bitches easy to beat, I told you, you're dumb. <laughs> and shout out for self-talk. <laughs> Get a little taste of mama's cookie, mama's cookie, mama's cookie. Get a little taste of mama's cookie. Boy, boy. Who sent you to those colleges? Who sent you to those colleges, boy? Mama's cooking, bitch. So you? No, I mean, no, she's not on my uh -oh. list, but I mean, what I, I do. She to. Don't worry about it. It's a list I got. Here's a list. I got five girls who don't want to suck a fart out of anybody. It's uh, Kelly Rowland. Yep. <laughs> Serena Williams, mm -hmm. Jennifer Lopez. That's that, that Serena. That is a big old fart. Stacey Dash <laughs> and, and Patty LaBelle. That's an old fart. Patty, Patty. Vincent Vagina. Yeah, that's Vincent. Vintage Vagina is what he said. They let this boy talk that talk on the, and show that shit. So should boys talk like this? We should All black boys should just talk like this to women. Nasty son of a and what you are lining yourself with a guy that a woman get out of a chair and he go on a, a radio station and smell the damn seat of the chair. You see, if you watch that video, you die. Yeah, that's a lot of baloney. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a list. I got five girls who don't want to suck a part of this. Uh, Kelly Rowland. Five girls who don't want to suck a part of this. Is, uh, Kelly Rowland. Kelly Rowland. Kelly Rowland. Mm. Ew! Kelly Rowland. That nigga nasty as fuck. And you always welcome to. I'm gonna get you your own chair because like every time you leave, I slip the chair. He said he can't tell which one is which. You've been doing that a lot. You're a nasty mother. Look at that patch eyed demon. Every time you leave, I slip the chair. 
They put an apple in that boy's mouth. Every time you leave, I sniff the chest. That boy getting an apple put in his mouth. And what you are aligning yourself with a guy that a woman get out of a chair and he go on a, a radio station and smell the damn seat chair. I, I, sniffed, I sniffed your chair last time you were here. You're a sick person. I know. <laughs> I did. I couldn't sick help person. it. You, I mean, go just left. What is that? Every time you leave, I sniff the chair. No. <laughs> no. No. Say you swear to fucking God, bro. You weird, buddy. You're weird. See that in the comment section? Mama's cooking, bitch. They saying mama's cooking everywhere. Self talk. I like that little mama. You gotta let me hold that clip. When did you send me that clip? Self talk. I like that shit when I said mama's cooking, bitch. You little taste of mama's cooking. Mama's cooking. Mama's cooking. You little taste of mama's cooking. What? What? You little taste of mama's cooking. Mama's cooking. Mama's cooking. You little taste of mama's cooking. Mama's cooking, mama's cooking, mama's cooking, mama's cooking, mama's cooking. Let's make sure every time, bitches. Get a little taste of mama's cooking, mama's cooking, mama's cooking. Get a little taste of mama's cooking. Mama's cooking, mama's cooking, mama's cooking, mama's cooking, mama's cooking, mama's Well, uh, that was for, uh. When Kwame came in. Hold on, what is that? Hold on, what is that playing in the background? Did he act 17, 18? No. All right. Sorry about that, Etan. Um, that was uh, for educational purposes, for you to understand that is a sexual deviant, sorry, some bitch. What do you guys think? So we, while we are out here having debates on other YouTube shows about what her mother should have did and what uh, what I would have did and what you would have did and what men should have did and if we were there, what we would have did, look at what he did and look at what he's doing. It's time out for all that bullshit. If it's pick me's and, and we can look the other way on certain shit and then pretend to, to women, black women, that it's all believe all women bullshit. Because it ain't believe all women, in my opinion. When you with the go along, get along gang, you can be a sexual deviant. You can get on shows and sniff ass right in front of people, sniff seats, and not sniff ass, sniff seats and tell women to their face. I got a list of five of y'all. I want to just. Suck the fart out your butt. I think I need to go on a date and say, hey, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> girls like you that look as good as you, uh, I would just like to sniff the fart out your butt. Suck the fart out your butt. I wonder if that date will end abruptly. Wonder why his job didn't end abruptly. Yeah. How do these women get to sit through an interview where they're being disrespected like that? He telling Jennifer Lopez, when you leave, I'm going to sniff your seat. And when you left, I sniffed your seat. What the fuck is you sniffing for? I wish one of them would have, if one of them would have farted, he probably would have liked it. He probably would have been down there. <laughs> God damn devil. You are disgusting. You are disgusting motherfucker. Somebody let you around women and women hang around you. You got a wife. You got daughters. We don't have no damn black community because patch eyed demon, the community where I grew up in. <laughs> yeah, you would have slipped when that, that drop came for your ass. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. 
And for all the people that are talking about Kwame knew it, he been knew this. I knew what you knew. He said he gave DNA in the interview. He said he did all that, went to court. Shit, how the hell I'm supposed to know that somebody uh, can be on a show that play it to a lesser charge in a in a Me Too era? How was I supposed to know? And if you guys knew it already, why the fuck you ain't do something about it? Since you always want to point the goddamn finger. But remember, there's a song say, remember when you point that finger. Three is pointing back at you. Boy, they don't make me harmonize on this motherfucker now. Because all the accusation you've been making, probably something you should do. Now, you lucky my throat wasn't clear because I'm smoking. Yeah, I used to be in the choir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Until all the choir girls used to... Uh, uh, never mind. <coughs> mm. Mm. What was that? What was that? Uh, what's that lady? What's, what's that person? Oh, yeah. that Who said I was getting fat? That was self-talk said that? Yeah, self-talk. You call me fat, boy. But you my dog still. I like the way you edit video. But I've been working out now. Yeah. Mama's cooking, getting back. Yeah. Niggas been doing a lot of talking. Hit that treadmill this morning. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Godfrey, don't do that laugh right there. That nigga did a good job with that one, boy. Yeah, no, I just watched that before I got on. That's what I was doing. I watched... Uh, I was watching Godfrey. Well, you a funny joker. You you a real funny dude. We might need to get together and do. Nah, you too damn funny. You gonna outshine me. I ain't even with that bullshit. Nah, for real. We you need to mimic me somewhere. We need to take this shit on the road, Godfrey. Shit. For real though. But now nah, let's get back to the point. To this patch eyed demon, you know. What are we going to do? Are we going to keep uh, talking bad about the people that's trying to expose it? Uh, anybody who who exposed it, choke, no joke, whoever need the credit, because to me, it's not about credit. It's about anybody who dropped any knowledge about the situation, the real truth. You you are helping this young lady. You're helping a lot of young ladies. So you got to think about it like that. When she come on and she talked to me, just like when her mother came on. We're going to put the GoFundMe up. Anything that you want to send to me, send it to her. She she can she can use it to maybe put a help put a billboard up in front of iHeartRadio because we got that. We got to go to the source. iHeartRadio is who need to get the pressure of having that some bitch on the air sniffing these ladies seats because I think iHeartRadio want to teach our black boys how to disrespect our black women. Yeah, that's what I think. That's just my opinion. Because if they didn't and they respected black women like they claim all the time on TV, then they would get that some bitch off their radio station. Because all he do is disrespect women. Hell, he disrespect men. I felt offended. My heart was hurt when he threw a bunkie at Donnell Raleigh. I, boy, look here. I wanted to slap. Shit. That was, that was bad. Then the man trying to hold it in the row. I could see his face. He... Donnell Rowe, he was trying to turn. He was damn near. If he was white, he'd have been. He'd have been peach. That mother, He turned away. He giving all the signs like nigga, I'm about to snap. And this little patch eyed demon, he wanted to see that too. He wanted to see him snap, so he kept inching the bunky, trying to make the little nuts, the scrotums touch his hand or touch his arm. And boy, look at here, every real man in America wanted to. That's why I like the way Nelly and Master P handles your little patch eyed ass. Master P stopped your ass cold. Hold up. That's a woman, though. That's a woman you disrespect. You know, we ain't going to have that. He checked your ass like an adult. But Nelly, he was ready to go there with you. He said, hold on, what you saying, though? Because, shit, we keep retainers for niggas like you. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had that talk going for your ass. You shut the fuck up quick, then. Patch eyed demon. 
The nigga had that bond money. That's sad that that's what men got to do to whip a nigga ass. Yeah, men got to go to jail to whip ass. <laughs> Shit. Every time I turn on a TV show, I see women jumping across, some women jumping across goddamn tables fighting. Nobody go to jail. A man, he gets sued. He get goddamn uh, shot. He get locked up. We can't whip nobody ass no more. How are we going to protect somebody if you ain't going to let us whip no ass? We got motherfuckers hollering about somebody dead, mother of a bitch. If I go, if I go give him a hug, I could be sued. I could be arrested. That should be some shit you just understand. <laughs> In my opinion, my humble opinion. In my humble opinion, when a man get to talking like that and he understands that he's a man and he understands what we are as men that he can go to a confrontation and you start talking about dead mothers and things of that nature i think we should be able to see what that talk be about without going to jail that's what i think i hope i don't want to be called snapped i want to be called i understand that but no in this world a man just got to hold it in. So I hold it in because I got that beautiful little daughter that just went to the store. She about to pick out what she wants. She was smiling. Yeah, we were doing her little coloring books. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were working on a little. Yeah, yeah. We were, she learning addition and subtraction. Can y'all see that? Yeah, yeah. She has a little reading, this addition. She has a little subtract, subtraction book at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to grade that. Yeah, yeah, I'm in here grading papers. Now, when she started getting into calculus and statistics and all that shit, she gonna get a tutor. <laughs> That's why I don't want to play in traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to play in traffic. Maybe about twenty years ago, though. <laughs> We could have danced in the street, maybe. Yeah, this shirt do look good on me. I'm getting yoked up too already. Just two days, one day, two days. But two days, I'm looking like a whole. I'm looking like a whole meal out there, out here. <laughs> well, I sound like a, I'm from New Orleans. With that, I'm not like a whole. I, don't, I hope y'all New Orleans jokers don't get mad. Please don't get mad because you motherfuckers crazy. But um. Uh, I, I feel like a whole, I look like a whole snack out here. Yeah, out here. Yeah, 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 out here. Like a whole movement, a whole snack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And DJ Envy, where's your leash, boy? What you doing on Friday? Don't you go no motherfucking well. We got a schedule. Your wife probably got a schedule for you, don't it? Okay, you want to go get the kids? You she don't probably don't do a damn thing, especially after you got caught, after you got caught doing what you were doing. And, and then the them alleged tweets where somebody was slapping something 9.5, uh talking about something 9.5. I don't know. Shit, you talking about you a wild? Somebody said you a wild, you a wild girl. <laughs> 9.5 and you a wild girl. No, you a wild girl. <laughs> <laughs> you the fucking wild girl. Shit. No wonder you sticking your fingers in bunkies and shit. Nasty motherfucker. You old wild girl. Uh-uh-uh. Glow stick. And I got a light-skinned son. And I got light-skinned cousins. They some bad motherfuckers, boy. They ain't nothing like you. You make light-skinned nigga look bad. There's some light-skinned nigga that a boy, look here. They go, they, uh, there's some light skin crazy nigga. That, and I always befriend them. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck wrong with you. I told you. <laughs> I'm one of them lions that understand. You ain't the only motherfucker out here. It's another symbol somewhere. <laughs> Shit. And when I see you, I'm going to salute you. And I'm going to walk around. But I'm going to still be a lion, but I'm going to walk around. Nigga, we ain't got a strength. Fuck we scrimping for. We both be together. Yeah, still think I'm crazy. 
Yeah, I gotta say that without the smoke and get my deep voice on. Still think I'm crazy. Ooh, 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 that need to be the intro to a movie. Still think I'm crazy. You say that's a cool T-shirt. Yeah, you can order you one. You the Teespring's right there in this uh, description box. Go on and order you one. Everybody can live this bus life. It don't matter what you call me. Shit, it's Friday. And I'm smoking hookah chilling. Yes, yeah, she is talking about a patch eyed demon that we gonna get your ass off there, you patch eyed demon. I'm talking about a soft ass, mush bread, coward in Stephen A. Shout out to Carcino. Y'all go check out Carcino page too. He break down Stephen A. Stephen A, you've been bullied all your life, ain't it, boy? That's what Carcino told me. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the abuse become the abuser. And so now I'm going to abuse your ass. See, I just want to see if you can take it like you dish it. I just think you're a punk. You've been swinging like this for a long time at me. And that's why it never hurt me because you were swinging like this. We saw how you were swinging. So it never hurt me because I'm way up here. You you were trying to uppercut me, but I was just looking at your dumb ass like this. What's wrong with you? So it never hurt me because that's how you that's how you come at me. But I only been talking for a couple of weeks, bitch, and I got you squeamish. <laughs> I got a lot of you bitches a little squeamish. Yeah. You shaking you little holes up. I got a nigga praying every day now. <laughs> he was talking like a hell of a nigga before. <laughs> he was a hell of a nigga. Fuck you niggas, nigga. Your life is dirt. You, you dead buried yourself. Yeah, nigga, you ain't shit. <laughs> nigga, you dumb. Nigga, it wasn't me. And now the nigga praying every goddamn day now. Nigga, we don't believe you, nigga. I don't. And then we got a light-skinned version of CB4. Every time you put a camera in front of that little pretty bitch, he always talking about he with the shits. But bitch-ass nigga, you got that DM, nigga. Yeah, and I ain't heard shit. So I don't believe you either. I told y'all, y'all were some puppets. Y'all some puppet niggas. Y'all puppets for the white boys. You, When you're free like this, you can say what you want, do what you want, but you a puppet. You got to change your whole life. You got to go back. Maddie, Maddie Becky, you got to go back to that woman, huh? <laughs> you got your little movie coming out. You got to look good, huh? Can't be going through no court situation, can you? See, if I was to go to a court situation, uh, my phone going to ring about me. And I'm going to say, I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I'm going to be on the phone. Yeah, he was right. Yeah, talking in third person at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, fuck all that. He was right. Yeah, I know Kwame. Yeah, yeah, he don't fuck around. Yeah, he tell the truth. Yeah, yeah. She, he said what? She said what? Who said what? I don't give a fuck what they said. He right. I hang my goddamn phone up. They make some calls about you. You get fired. You got to change up some things because it goes against the company. You punk bitch. So before you ever talk about a nigga like me that's free, you better make sure you know who you're talking about. You know, when you own land, boy, people call you about brokering deals and shit, boy. So you don't own nothing. You don't know nothing about that. Yeah. You only own your own thoughts. You're a dumb little bitch. And I know that song going forever. You'll never hear it. You don't want to hear this song right here. Someone's going to eat your food. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <coughs> Boy, you don't never want to hear that goddamn song no more. I know you don't. God damn. Mm -mm -mm. And you want to take sit here and tell me you know I'm hurt? Shit! Someone's gonna open your doors. <laughs> Everything about that song really happened to this nigga. The nigga took his truck, got drunk up, allegedly, hit hit something, 
and they had to call Matt. He had to take care of nigga Derek. Derek probably was in the pool, so in that nigga pool somewhere. Like, yeah, hell that bitch had nigga. That nigga was in the pool, in your pool, nigga. <laughs> he was in your pool, you soft, mush bread little bitch. You. He was in your pool, pump. And he was laying back chilling, and your bitch ass fixed the car. <laughs> Hey, y'all niggas want to talk shit to me. I can't believe all this shit started because of niggas like y'all that somebody thought was somebody. Nigga, please. I see niggas like you niggas from a mile away. He wanted to hang with me. Yeah, until I saw the stupid shit you were doing. I like, I like niggas. I want to hang with all niggas. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with niggas. I ain't like you. Think you stand on niggas' shoulder. Anytime somebody see me, I come big jolly green giant. I'm all love, boy. I'm just chilling. You want to prove you tough everywhere you go look like. You hang with a bunch of niggas too, boy. God damn. You got any time for your cheer? Or just you and your lady? Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now where that Dracula face, Steven? Uh, what's that bitch? Skip Bayless. Where that Dracula face motherfucker at? I know how to get you off here. I'm going to go goddamn make a side deal with your Botox. Who the hell giving you all that Botox in your face? Well, whoever that is, we're going to make sure they go take it. They go just go on a vacation. Please just stop, you know, giving him Botox. I think it's bad for his health. And we will see the real you. Goddamn bone will probably stick through his goddamn skin. Dead face motherfucker. You sit there talking shit about every damn body. Who the fuck is you? Didn't Mark Cuban say, what did Mark Cuban say to this motherfucker? That was the best line ever. Mark Cuban got on your dumb ass. Yeah, Mark Cuban say, first of all, you had a presumption of people caring what you're saying, but they don't. And I agree with him. Shut your goddamn mouth, boy. Shit, let me get my finger point. Because Godfrey, you get my finger down. Shut your gut. Not you, Godfrey. Skip Bayless, all you go along, get along, gang bitches. We don't want to hear you no more. The new black YouTube is coming, motherfucker. And my podcast is coming. Mama's cooking, bitch. It's coming. And we want you motherfuckers to shut your goddamn mouth. Nobody give a fuck about what y'all saying. You can't even do the shit you're talking about. You can't even do it halfway. Bitch, if I fumbled the ball off my leg and couldn't catch it, bitch, you couldn't even get on the court. Fuck every last one of you sorry some bitches that talk. With that effeminate tongue, cause some shit you can't do. Now, I'm tired of y'all motherfuckers talking about Kevin Durant. And shout out to you, Kevin Durant. God damn. Boy, get boy, look at here. I gotta take a sip for Kevin Durant. Cause yeah, it's Friday. And this ain't no goddamn tea in my cup today. Yeah, yeah. And this for you, Kevin Durant. You can't get you can't party till you win the championship. But this for you. Cause they trying to stop you from winning that championship. That's what I think. Uh, that's what I think. I don't think they want you to win it because they know you a bad motherfucker and Kyrie too. But shout out to you, man. I had to take enough. That motherfucker, what, he had 49? 49, what is it, 16 or 17 rebounds? 17 rebounds and 10. God, whoo, shit, man. Three steals and two blocks. Boy. Shout out to you again. Boy, this is the baddest motherfucker I ever done. I done ever done seen. This motherfucker, he a cold. Boy, look at here. This motherfucker must have came out with a basketball. He came out and the first thing he touched was a basketball. It had to be. That motherfucker, them <laughs> long ass on. That motherfucker, that cold. I don't care what you say. He the coldest motherfucker in the game. I'm sorry. Shout out to you, homeboy. Jesus Christ. And I know why they keep talking about them so bad in the media. Yeah, them boys got to be some real brothers. I like y'all too. Y'all, y'all want to come holler at me? Come holler at me after the season, and I'll do the cursing for you. Fuck you, Stephen A. Some bitch. Call my boss. Where my phone at? Call my boss. Go on here. You must be gonna pick up the phone. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up the phone and say, "Bitch, we don't like you. We like we like Kevin Durant. <laughs> we like Kyrie. Fuck you. Who the fuck, who the fuck is you?" I'm gonna look at the phone like it's snake. Steven, who? <laughs> Get the fuck off my phone. I'm gonna hang up. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna cuss them niggas out for y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all want me to tell them, and I add my little twang to it. Shit. You got all these goddamn busts in real life talking about great men. 
Kevin Durant gonna be a goddamn Hall of Fame. He better be a Hall of Famer. He gonna be a goddamn Hall of Famer. And we got two little dweebs talking about him every day. A little punk like Stephen A. and a Dracula face Skip Bayless. And a nigga that talk like this, Jay Will. Niggas act like they perfect. Nigga, you don't make the best decisions, Jay Will. Nigga, I knew better to ride a motorcycle when in the league when I'm making all that goddamn money. I ain't saying that should have happened to you, but nigga, don't be talking about everybody like you just know everything and you perfect punk. And you probably can't say nothing back. I get on your ass too. He probably can't. They gonna say, "Don't say that." <laughs> you got a boss too, boy. I had a boss, but I couldn't say nothing. That's why I don't never want no another one. I learned from my mistakes. Yeah, now you got to call me. And I'm going to tell you, fuck you. <laughs> yes, yes. I don't got no company policy. <laughs> company policy is, what did you do to me? <laughs> That's the simple couple po company policy. What did you do to me? Shouldn't have been talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Cat Williams. I done DM'd you, Cat. If anybody know how to get in touch with Cat Williams, goddamn, tell him I need him on the show. Shit, he know you go along, get along, game, motherfucker. Shit, and I need your lawyers, boy. Sir. Shit. I don't want to make you mad. That motherfucker got jokes for that. He the funniest goddamn. He the funniest nigga ever. A serious funny dude, too. Because the shit he say, he be like, oh, shit. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> you be laughing like I know them them celebrities when he go on stage, they be like, "Boy, I hope it ain't me this time." <laughs> and they be they be laughing like <laughs> they they gotta laugh at the replay after their name wasn't mentioned. <laughs> them motherfuckers be laughing at it. I don't know what this nigga gonna say. They be sitting next to their wife and their girl like, "God damn, I did go to six parties last year, and and cat might have seen me at two Fuck. <laughs> what did he see? <laughs> Boy, look here. Mm -mm -mm. I need your lawyer's cat. Boy, that goddamn trade me a bust my head this morning. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna have to slow up on the goddamn hoof. Boy, that trade mill got the butt hoof. Lord. Shit. But I'm about to be back right though in a minute. It don't take me long. You know what I'm saying? My daddy and my mama mix them. <laughs> boy, when they when they mix that shit up, boy, they mixed up some. <laughs> boy, look at here. Yes, yes. Jordan called Jordan called Kwame a coon. Lies. Stop telling me. Don't tell me who telling. <laughs> Shout out to Trinidad Jane. Don't tell me who telling. Nigga, chatty patty. You go over here telling who telling. Fuck wrong with you. But uh, I'm getting a little better at this YouTube thing. I was able to put a little video up. Oh, shit now. Yes, yes. I'm only going to put my homeboys' videos up. Self-talk, Carcino, Ticket TV, a couple of dudes that uh, it's been real. I'm going to make sure I ask you first because, you know, hopefully we have the mutual respect. And it's only going to bring you guys and me more attention, the more eyes on each other. I don't know why people compete. I don't get it. The, the more eyes you have on it, some of these guys got so much good skills on this computer. They take the things I'm saying, they make it funny, they break it down, they're able to clip it up, and that's what you should do. That's what everybody should allow you to do. You don't have to, we, we shouldn't have to go beg somebody for a job. People can get on here and be themselves, use other people's content. If people stop being so selfish, let them clip it up and let them feed their family. What's so hard about that? You know, some of these economics majors, I don't know if they knew that or not. They probably did. They don't want to help no goddamn body. They want to stand on your damn shoulders. I don't like nobody on my shoulders. These shoulders ain't for everybody. I ain't trying to stand on nobody's shoulders. And I damn sure don't want nobody standing on mine. So I treat others like I want to be treated.
And shout out to Tasha K. And y'all scared me about this lady. I'm in there shaking and shit. I'm in there like, whoa, Lord. You know, I went outside, came back in, you know. You know, I, I waited for a minute. She let me in. But she was a nice, cool person. She's a Pisces. We was born on the same damn day, the same year. So I know why some of y'all think she crazy or she rough, because I'm the same way. We we sweet and we sour. <laughs> you can fuck around and get sour. <laughs> but at first, if you ain't do nothing, we can slap hands. We can hug. Slap hands. Ain't that better? <laughs> <laughs> Patrice, shout out to RP Patrice O'Neill. But if you don't want to slap hands, yeah. yeah. We got that other side. Yeah. The hand gonna go like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that back hand, the hand gonna go. Yeah. Yeah, that hand gonna. Yeah. Shit. I was trying to get mad at it running to one of these little motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I had red clay all in that goddamn Duke Ocha kit. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Hell, Godfrey, you got that shit down. Talk about fuck you talking about. He had, he had that shit down. What? You could be one of my brothers or something. Where you from, Godfrey? Shit. Oh, this is just all jokes because they said we was joking and um. I didn't wake up with violence. All of this is for entertainment purposes. Unless you DM me back. All of this is for entertainment purposes and we're just having fun, okay? I did not wake up with violence. I don't even play video games. I don't even watch TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't do that. But shout out to Jessica Reed. I hope she can, uh, you know, find the strength she says she may want to do it sunday i hope she can find the strength to do it because i her story to me is powerful and um there's a lot that you can learn and some of the situations that happen to her is happening to your daughter it could be happening to my daughter um when you have little girls out here in this world you never know um uh, and just because they make a decision, a wrong decision to drink or do something, that, sh that should not result in them being violated. So you don't got to take nothing now. You got to be player. But, um, I hope we can keep bringing awareness and start using our platforms for something good and and tearing down the establishment. We on us on YouTube, all of these guys with all these beautiful skills that you guys have, you guys bring up a story and let's all of us talk about it because information rule the nation. And then the worst thing you can do is shine a light. That's the worst thing for these companies is to shine a light on their true agenda which is protect their go along, get along gang and keep other people under tight order. Yeah. So it's time for us to unify. It's not about being divided. It's not about all the drama. Sometimes drama fun. Now. I love calling that motherfucker finger wave and shit like that. I love to tell jokes because they said we was joking, but through the jokes, we still got to be connected to something. And uh, it's time to focus on these kids. And so I'm working hard behind the scenes to speed up my plan because I know everybody like, what's the plan? What's the plan? Um, but the plan is to help these children. And I've said a lot of different ways we can help these kids. Um, you got to start locally first and then we can all branch out. And we're close. We're close. There's a lot of snakes in the grass. So I have to carefully vet situations. You have to give get background checks. You got to do all kind of things. Now that I'm on YouTube saying the things that I'm saying, I don't want to get connected to somebody. And then they go, Oh, look who he's with, you know, Dr. Boyce. <laughs> I mean, um, you know, I'm not a doctor, but I know that I got to be very careful who I connect myself with. So that's what I'm trying to do. So that's what, that's the process. Once this thing is a well-oiled machine, 
Yeah. So, again, shout out to Jessica Reed. I'm going to pray for you. I hope you continue to fight. I hope you get your strength together so you can help um, these young ladies. Um, don't let somebody rile you up and get you on a show uh, for views. You should be able to tell your story in a manner that you want to tell it uh, so that you can give back and help these kids. Um, there's a lot of predators in this world and they know how to prey on mothers and they know how to prey on these young girls. Um, they're very nice. They're very cunning. So um, all the people that think they know what they would have done, we can all say that. But what's done is done. But what we do now is important. And now that we know what happened, who are we as a society if we don't start, rather, no matter who they are, if we don't start calling this thing fair and equally down the middle? Just because it's the person you like don't mean they should be able to get away with something like that. And this ain't a part of some movement or anything like that. This guy is on the docket. So hopefully with sharing the information, we can get the results that we want. Um, and we want this some bitch somewhere in a corner, not on nobody TV, known as no good author when he's done the things that he's done. And when he's on the docket for pleading to a lesser charge when he was 22 years old around a 15 year old little girl. No, that's not okay. And for those of you that are attacking the people on the outside and not Charlemagne, the lesser charge, shame on you. Cause I'm gonna keep the pressure on his ass. Good day. <laughs>